guys, I'm going to make another soup and einlage. So I have here the same as the other one. So I have here bread cubes. This is 500 grams. And also I've put 10, 10 eggs and also milk in here. And now I'm going to let it set for a while until everything will be soft. And then I'm going to put my other ingredients. Guys, my pan is already heating and as you can see I've already put my garlic inside. And I'm just going to wait until the garlic will be a little bit brown so that it will release its aroma. And later I'm going to put the onion also inside. And now guys, it's already translucent and I'm, I have already chopped my ham here. And I'm going to put this also in here. I will add my ham and then I will just stir fry it or until it will be a little bit brown and then I'm going to put this in the bread cubes mixture. So here now guys my ham is already cooked together with the onion and garlic and now I'm going to Transfer this to the bread cubes mixture. I'm going to add this one into the mixture until it will be all incorporated with the other. I've already put everything in here and now I'm going to mix all of this. Add guys cheese. So I have here the emmentaler. So this is the cheese. This is I put half of that on one of the gouda. So this is how it looks like and I'm going to mix this one so that it will be all everything will be incorporated and then I'm going to to fry this one to prepare this one I'm just going to make my hand wet and then scoop one of these and then let's form so because when your hand is wet it's easier to work with Okay, so and now I'm going to put this here in the hot oil. So, just like this one. See? And then I have here the other one. And let's wait until it will be brown and then we'll, we are going to flip that on the other side. Guys, we are going to flip this one because it's already ready. Oh, it's so brown. But it's not a problem. Just flip it like this. And just press it. Oh, it's already smells so delicious. And I'm going to put this aside when everything is ready. Must be careful because this is with cheese. And so now guys, I'm going to this see. So with one hand is not easy guys but here I have here three and I still have see it's delicious guys so as you can see guys this is so much because I have here for a big portion and this is meal prepping and I'm going to have that because it's easy for me if I have that in hand like for this I'm going to freeze some of them and then when I needed it, I'm going to defrost it. At, uh, a day before, I'm going to make a soup for the family. And ta-da! This is our Caspress Knudel. So this will be for soup. It looks delicious and I still have much work to do for today because I have a very big portion of this. And I'm going to make some soup for the kids because they are already hungry. It's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so this will be their lunch. Here is our 
soup. This is Caspres Knudel soup. So it's delicious. You can eat as is, or you could put also in the goulash or in soup. So let's eat, guys. This will be the lunch for the Kinder. Hi, Kinder. Hello. 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 Hast du das Strudel gekostet? Ja. Und wie schmeckt? Gut. Und was schmeckt dir besser? Kaspress oder das Strudel? Beides. Beides, du Eli. Kaspress oder das Strudel? Kaspress. Kaspress, ich habe schon gewusst. Okay, und schmeckt? Da ist Gemüse drin bei Kaspress. Ja, hat drin. Ich habe auch Karotten, ich habe vergessen zum Geben. Bye bye. Bye bye.